I'm the Pretty Thing That Lives in the House has an unreasonably long title and stars Ruth Wilson, Paula Prentice, and Polly Boynton. This movie is about a woman who is taking care of an old author in a house that she believes is haunted. This movie is a movie that most people hated, aside from like the most pretentious horror fans. I say that when it comes to horror movies, I'm not very impatient. I can watch a slow-paced movie. It's fine with Osperkin's other two movies, The Black Coat's Daughter and Gretel and Hansel. This movie was just too slow to watch. Nothing happens throughout the movie. There are two jump scares, and then the reveal, then the climax. This movie should have just been a 10 minute short because it is so boring. It took me a week to watch the whole movie. If it was a 10 minute short, it would probably still drag a little bit, but at least it would waste less time. What really bothered me about the movie is how if there had been a script, if there was any substance at all to the story, it could have been a really good horror movie. The jump scares are fairly effective, but maybe it's just because nothing happened for a very long time before, so it's surprising to see something, even if it's just like a loud noise for a second. Ruth Wilson is very good at times, but for most of the movie, she's just walking around this house, so she doesn't really get to show us how good she can be. The atmosphere is in the movie, but it's not as strong as in his other two movies. It's still there, though. Cinematography was also good, but most of the scenes it in captured were just useless scenes. It's people walking around hallways, reading books, nothing happening. And I can watch a slow-paced movie, but none of the acting or the cinematography or atmosphere make up for a movie where nothing happens at all. I'm going to give I'm the Pretty Thing That Lives in the House a C-. Sorry this review has been short, but there's just not much to talk about because it's just like a nothing movie. It's so bland. I'm going to be reviewing Griddle and Hansel next, and that'll wrap up my reviews for today. I hope you're enjoying them, and I hope... Bye.